top of the day, man. Grand rising, grand rising, y'all. It's wholesome Brent, man. We just out and about. We're about to go to the gym. My throat's clearing up. I'm healing up. I didn't have COVID. It wasn't that. It was more of a like a, you know, like I ate something that messed me up. We'll get in. We'll get into that. But speaking of eating, we gon' we gonna highlight the foods that we eating today. Usually, when I wake up and I work out, I don't really have like no no crazy meal like that you know it's probably just to get up and go especially if i'm just doing cardio if i'm running like i just got done with a run i'm just i'm just gonna go when i get back i replenish hydration get you some water that's the main thing you want to do is hydrate when you get done with like a workout it's all about the the flow it's all about the blood flow you want to keep your, your oxygen levels up and we're about to hit the gym just to get a little bit more of a conditioning, body conditioning. And the goal is just to just to train, just to get uh like I said, get the, the body up to up to up to date really with conditioning and training and strength training and just trying to build a, a solid foundation, you know what I mean? We're gonna get right into that man. Well, let's get it. How we doing y'all? How we doing? We just got out the gym. We about to get into our first meal of the day. It's the granola with the blueberry, the goji berries, crap, cranberries, all the berries you need to kickstart your day off, right? And you see the beautiful sky right behind me. So it's a little, it's like a, it's like a chia pudding. Don't don't mind the look. Just just understand it's a lot of nutritional value in this. We got the granola that we, you know, it's the homemade granola. First time ever making it. it got walnuts. It got hemp seeds, it got chia seeds, flax seeds, all the omegas that you need, all the calcium, almond, um, almond butter on the top. Yeah, man, we about to indulge. This is a perfect work post-workout meal, man. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. It's just right. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Look like I'm in Miami. We in Cali though. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We like to get it done real early, you know. We like to get our workout. We like to get our stuff done first thing in the morning. That's that's the main priority, you know. Wake up, give thanks, all that wholesome good stuff, you know. Mm. Okay, I'm back at it, man. With the with a little snack. Any. It ain't really that glorified, man. It's just an apple. Make sure you're eating the right stuff throughout your day to keep you going. It's like a it's like a nice car, right? You can have a nice car, but if you're putting the wrong gas in it, it's not going to run the way you want it to run. So think about it like that, man. We're trying to have top-tier gas. If anything, we're going electric. We're going electric. Shout out to all the people eating good and electrified foods. I don't want to go into it, but bless again again here we are back with some more snacks man just some more peanuts we done ran through i mean it was it wasn't like all the way full but you see you get the idea what do we got sunflower seeds we got cashew we got almond i think that's raisins man good fats just being honest for sure i mean i don't really eat like crazy throughout my day because like i said i like to be on my feet i like to be moving i like to mobilize you eat anything too heavy you get a little sluggish that's why and that's why my transition was so real at one point with the whole vegan thing or plant-based or whatever you want to call it i just wanted more vital energy because i just hated feeling so depleted i didn't like that feeling necessarily doesn't mean you have to be a plant-based eater to get all your energy it just means you got to make better choices and my choices weren't so weren't so right at one point because I, I didn't really care to have the best choices. I just, whatever I needed at the time was just presented as that. And I wasn't so conscious or even cautious of what I was taking in because I was just like, man, whatever, whatever. And you know, I want to give myself some credit too. We don't stop smoking, all of that. It's been, it's going on a year. It's going on a year. No smoking weed, you know what I mean? If anything, if you do that, congratulations. But I'm just telling you, the stuff that they doing nowadays to your food, to, to the weed, it's not what it used to be. So it got a lot of different chemical 
you know what I mean? Stimulations that I I have no I have no, you know, business even speaking on because I'm not even educated like that in that field. I just know from my own, you know, from my own being, I, I had to trans, I had to, I had to switch it up. You know, you got to switch it up. You got to evolve. And that's what us, that's really what it's about. I'm going to eat the rest of these, uh, these trail mix. Okay, man. We, we, we halfway in the day. It's the evening. We got this good little mango, banana, kale, smoothie. What we put in it. All the good stuff. Like I just told you, it's the mango, it's the bananas, it's the, it's the kale, we got the chia seeds, we got a little agave. Shout out to the person who, who mentioned it on YouTube. But I put a little agave in here in replacement of the honey. You could put honey in it if you want to do that. A little almond milk. And I put a little hemp, hemp, little hemp powder or hemp protein. That's what we call it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. We leading into our final meal of the day. We got a veggie burger with the carrots, the peas. I done made this veggie burger like a while ago. Let's see how this comes out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's exactly how we was coming throughout our day, man. We were just trying to keep it light. We were trying to keep it right. We were trying to keep it bright, you know? Give the body what it needs, you know? host meals my meals they vary throughout so some days i'll have smoothies for breakfast other days i won't have no breakfast i hope you guys like the video you know let me know what's, what was working for you guys let me know what you guys is eating and tapped in on your journey on your journey because this this plant-based this plant-based stuff really like it helps me in a lot of ways, you know, changed my whole relationship with food and like vitality and what, like, what really, what's really important. I'm not gonna preach here because that's not what it's about. I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that that's what it's about sharing the food, sharing the delight. Goodies vegan, man. Goodies vegan. That's the little meal prep that we had started up and we're trying to push the narrative because vegan, like I said, it's, it's more political. I just did it for the market and oh just did it for the market because i was trying to have market appeal but at the end of the day when you dive in and understand what vegan is doesn't mean you're really necessarily healthy and my narrative is to push a health and well-being lifestyle what you eat and how you carry yourself and how you basically your lifestyle like what are you doing when you aren't eating like it all plays a part it all plays a part in your mood and your functioning. It plays a part in your life. So make sure you, you're doing your part and you putting the stuff that's helping you operate at your best of ability, at the best of your ability. Making sure that you wholesome, making sure you up. And if you're not in the best attitude, try to separate yourself, try to dissect how you feel, what happened, what did you get enough rest? This is not, this is like, I'm trying to give you like counseling right now. But at the end of the day, it's true. It's a real, it's really simple. We don't have to feel the way we want. We don't have to feel the way we don't want to feel. You know what I mean? We could change it up. We just need some time. We need some patience. And I think that's what this video is all about. It was all about patience and making sure that we make the right choices. This isn't just for no, this ain't for show. This ain't for play. This is real life. This is what we do. That's why I'm able to <laughs> move and do what I do. And I'm trying to give you guys life. I'm trying to give you guys energy because I think that's what it's about. I think that's what it's about. Make sure that we all wholesome, making sure that we all in tune and well adjusted because we live in some great times and we got to have each, we got to have each other's back. We got to keep, we got to keep the support there and it's only right y'all. It's only right. So if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment in the section down below. Let me know what's working for you on your plant-based journey. Connect with the people here. And you know what I mean? Let's let's get in tune, man. Let's 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 change the narrative. Let's push a narrative that that we would like to have in our life, you know, like a, a better narrative for the most part. So yeah, connect with me down below. Wholesome Brent on the IG. You know where to find me. And that's what it's about, man. You guys stay well. 
You guys stay wholesome. Keep the keep the energy alive, man. Keep the energy alive. We need to keep it going. Stay blessed, y'all. Stay blessed. Stay highly favored. At the end of the day, you know what it is, man. Tulsa Brent.